back, everyone. Our next guest is an award-winning platinum artist and songwriter with over 400 million streams, three number one hit singles, and over 20 Canadian Country Music Award nominations. Woo! about her brand new EP, Love Myself, plus what it's been like touring with the legendary Shania Twain, mm -hmm. by the way. Singer, songwriter, another Lindsay, Lindsay L. Yeah. Hi, ladies. Thank you so We're so, so delighted to have fun you. On Fun Friday? Fun Friday. <laughs> I'm here for it. Okay, Lindsay, you have built a career in country music over the past decade, mm -hmm. and you've had countless nominations, everything including the CMAs, the CCMAs, the Junos, the CMTs, and now you've decided to step into an entirely new genre. Yeah. How come? You know, I, I don't really see it as stepping away from country. I see it as just evolving. You know, all of my favorite artists, whether I were to say Sheryl Crow or John Mayer, you can't really put them in one genre. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes a project may lean a certain way. And I just feel sonically just so inspired being able to walk into the studio and make whatever music is coming to my brain and to my heart. And I think that's the, the magic. That's mm -hmm. where you create music that actually connects to people, that feels real and feels mm -hmm. honest. And I think this is my most authentic project to date. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, in your evolution and when you kind of decided, okay, I'm going to go in this direction with this project, is it true that you actually went up to your ex-label boss, I suppose, <laughs> and said, can you, like, let me go? Hmm. Yeah, it is. My my ex label, the head of my my last label, is actually the nicest guy on the face of the planet, and he was like, "I am your biggest fan and will be till the day I die." And so he is the best, and he was just like, "I want you to do what you feel like you need to do." Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the single we heard there, "Love Myself." So what does it mean now versus what "Love Myself" maybe meant earlier in your mm -hmm. career? Honestly, mm -hmm. I think it's almost 180 degrees. I, I wrote. This project, a lot about the things we say to ourselves in our heads, because I think oftentimes that's a pretty actually mean dialogue compared mm. to the things that I would tell my friends mm -hmm. or my family or my coworkers. The things I would say to myself were really unfair and really cold mm -hmm. a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's power in rewriting those stories, rewriting those false beliefs and actually looking at yourself and saying something loving and something more accepting. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> thank you, yeah, we can clap for that. So I think loving myself today, I'm really trying to accept myself for who I am and through and everything I've been through, knowing that it's made me into the woman I am today mm -hmm. and knowing that I can say things, I can write songs from a different place mm -hmm. compared to the girl I used to be. Mm -hmm. And I love the girl I used to be. And in, in, in a way, I can like hold her hand and actually take her with me yeah. 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 into oh, cool. the world as like a stronger, a stronger place. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. Mm -hmm. Talk about growth. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're currently on tour with the great Shania Twain. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> being on tour with your childhood hero. Honestly, girl, it is wild. Right? I mean, we opened up for Shania last year, yeah. and I feel so grateful to have toured with so many incredible artists in my career, like Maren Morris and Keith Thurman and One Republic. But when Shania called me at the beginning of this year and asked if I'd be her lead guitar player in her band, I was like, I never knew I was going to be a side man in, in my life or a side woman, I guess I should say. <laughs> but, but it's been the coolest thing on the face of the planet to get to work with my childhood role model. I mean, she's the reason I started singing when I was a little girl. Yeah. And those songs that I first learned how to sing on now I'm playing with her on stage. I'm three feet away from her on stage <laughs> playing that song. Oh, so cool. cool. And you so, look like a boss with that guitar. Oh, it's you're so, so great. Sweet. Um, we only have about a minute left, but yeah. we want to talk about your role on Canada's highest rated reality program, Canada's Got Talent. Yeah. You only get the one golden buzzer per season. <laughs> yeah. How do you decide when to use it? Honestly? Choosing the golden buzzers is the hardest part of my job. Right. It is the hardest part uh. because every act is so talented and so many acts pull at your heartstrings. But for me, it always comes down. They need to be talented. Yeah. But everybody who comes on Canada's Got Talent is talented in some way. Mm -hmm. And so really it's the story that like tugs at my heartstrings. Like that something that they've overcome to get to where they are today. And then they show up on stage and have an incredible talent and an incredible voice or can do these incredible things that you're like a human being is doing. <laughs> um, and then I'm just like, okay, I need, I need to walk out on stage. I need to do this. Well, <laughs> you're, you are an inspiration. Thank you for joining us today, Lindsay. Thank you so much for doing Okay, we want to remind you, Lindsay L. 
of lead single story I tell myself it is out right now everywhere that you listen to music and don't forget to pre-save her EP love myself it is set to release next Friday that is October the 25th hey you come a bit closer We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.